Hello everybody, Flick here, welcome back to another contrast paint video and as you can see before us here we have a Death Guard Plague Marine based in Grey Seer as is always. This is a little bit of an experiment slash challenge so we just put that to one side for now but that is what we're going to be doing today. What we have here is a, a Plague Surgeon done in normal Citadel paint and the goal today is mostly using contrast paint. How close to this finish can we get? essentially, because I don't think that's a particularly bad finish. We're just going to see if Contrast Paint can achieve the same in less time, more or less. So that's what we're going to be aiming for. So with that in mind, the primary Contrast Paint we're going to be using today is, as I almost tip it over, is Plague Bearer Flesh, which is currently sold out. I noticed that on the Games Workshop website. Uh, this looks like it's been opened, because there's probably like at least a third of it missing. Not the case. When I got my first order of contrast paint, this had a, a bad seal on it right there. So it had been seeping as it was getting knocked around in transit. Thankfully it didn't open all the way, but I've never actually used this contrast paint yet, so this will be uh, new to me to see how it applies, how it dries, etc. But it is a bit of a shame. I have heard about other people getting contrast paints that were damaged in transit as well. That's actually why the Ultramarines Blue has some of it stained on it. I did my best to clean up the other tubs as I could, but... Oh, and of course the grey sear base itself is just coated in the stuff. So that was due to leakage in transit. But yeah, that's primarily what we're going to be using. We're also going to be using, my favourite, Blood Angels Red, a little bit of Black Templar, and a little bit of Yandan Yellow, which once again I don't have next to me. And the red is for the capes, and we're also going to be using Skeletal Horde, or Skeleton Horde, whatever it's called, I keep forgetting. Skeleton Horde, a lot of them there. Skeleton Horde for the, the bones and whatnot, because this is a particularly spiky Plague Marine. With a lot of good detail that the contrast paint might seep into. So we're going to get started, we're going to use the Plague Bear Flesh first, see how it compares to the normal way of doing Death Guard here, which was a base, uh, at least a couple of wash layers and a dry brush layer. Let's get started. So I've let it dry for a little while. Initial impressions of the Plague Bear fresh Flesh rather is that it's a lot brighter than the the what was used for that. I think it was uh Well Nurgling Green was the wash, but the actual layer itself was I think it was either Castellan Green or no actually it was Death World Forest. Yeah, so it's a little bit paler. This has got a little more a bit more vibrance to it. Uh it's got some pooling down here on the base, kind of spread it just to kind of add a green tint to the base once it's done. But yeah, it's definitely a lot brighter and didn't apply as thickly as I thought it would for how it looks in the jar. Uh, still going to give it a little bit more time to dry just because it is it comes across as being very warty, but because it came with a broken seal, I'm not sure if this is the consistency it's supposed to be. I, I'm not sure. It's, there's there's no way to tell because it did come slightly damaged, but gonna let it dry a little bit longer more than I normally would and then we're going to use the skeleton horde on the bones and some of the blood angels red on the like cape here and the tassels and whatnot whatever this is at the front here the the loincloth I guess but yeah gonna give it a bit more time to dry and then we will tackle that
So now we've got the skeleton horde applied to the bones up here and here. Uh, lesson to be learned here, I didn't wait long enough doing the red while the, the plague bear flesh was drying. So from this bit down here, the red bled rather heavily into the plague bear flesh. So it's not quite dried yet, but I've already topped it up a little bit with some grey sear. Going to do another layer of grey sear and then have to reapply the plague bear flesh to this leg. <clears throat> That's why it's important if you're going to get that close with very contrasty colours uh, to wait until the base layer is fully dry. With that said, while that is getting repaired, what I can probably do in the meantime is apply just a little bit of Black Templar Black to most of the gun. Actually, probably going to do that skull on the gun in the Skeleton Horde as well. And Yandin Yellow on the polyps. There isn't that many on this Plague Bearer, I think. I usually just do the middle of the backpack. And then down here by one of the leg tentacles, there's a couple of polyps. Just going to do them in yellow as well. And then it will just be a case of using regular paints, gold trim, and uh, silver for the rest of the gun. It's going to look very different to the other Plague Marines. So I think we'll take a look at it prior, but I'll most likely then have to do a wash of sepia and or earthshade just to try and bring the tones down. It isn't just the Gracier base being so much brighter than the Bad and Black, it is just that the Plague Bearer flesh is just so much brighter than the Death Forest Green. But anyway, let's get some more colour on this thing. So a little bit more touch up done to the model now, also the black and the yellow done. Tried to patch up that knee there, but it's going to take a little while. So that's it as far as contrast paints work on this model. I'm going to use just Balthazar gold on the, the shoulder plates, the, the hanging thing on his backpack, and then just lead belcher for the silver bits on his gun, his backpack, etc. Brown for the base, just to match what it is. Then we'll take a look at that. Then I'll probably have to leave it to dry for a few hours and then apply a couple of washes to try and get it closer to the original because that's the goal here. But let's see with the gold and silver and whatnot done. So prior to any washes going on the finished thing, this is what we have with the Plague Marine. Obviously nowhere near the same shade of green ending up as uh, the Plague Surgeon that we showed at the start, which is a little bit too far away in there. There we do. If we do it from that side, you can definitely see the difference in green. I was looking through the list of contrast paints on my monitor over here. I think if you wanted to get something closer, you'd probably want to look at Militarum Green or there's another one, Creed Camel. I would say one of those two would probably get you closer. That said, we might still be able to make it a little bit closer by applying a little, and by a little I mean a very help, uh, large helping of Agrax Earthshade, although before that, I'm trying to find my other wash, there it is right there, probably some Seraphim Sepia first. But the contrast paint is obviously going to have to take a long time to dry, so I'm going to leave the setting for a few hours most likely, and then we'll be back with these washes applied as well with a finished miniature hopefully. So a copious amount of drying time later, it's still wet though because of the washes being damp on top of generally quite damp layers. We have the finished Plague Marine. It came out good, I would say. Obviously not the same shade of green, although with the... I did um, sepia and earth shade over the top. Sepia first, then earth shade after that dried. It is closer to the, the kind of green we're looking for. Obviously you can still tell it's a shade different. That's not just down to the base colour being black and then grey sear here, I would say. It is just also that the Plague Bearer Green isn't quite the tint of green that would have brought out the same. This is as close as I could get. I think it's probably a, a fair comparison similarity, but something like the Militarum Green contrast would most likely get closer to the, the Death Forest Green that was used as the base for here with um, ooh, Dry Brush of Goblin Green on top or Nurgling Green, I think, whatever it's called. Is it Nurgling Green? Where is it? Uh, it's here somewhere. Yeah, Nurgling Green. So it's kind of close. It's obviously opinion, which 
style you prefer, there's nothing wrong with how that contrast one looks. I would say in some ways it might even look a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, a little bit uh, more standout-ish on the table. That's the one thing with this colour scheme for the Death Guard that's been used here. It's, it's very fitting, it's very slimy and horrible looking, but it doesn't look that great on camera. But there's a whole army painted like this, so that'll still be the norm going forward. But I would say there's nothing wrong if you're wanting a lighter looking Death Guard. You'd still probably want to use the washes on top though, just to give them a bit more definition. Yeah, it's quite damp at the back here. Uh, if I can get back in focus, there it is. But yeah, I think that's that's good and that would look better on camera as well. So that was a little bit of experimentation with Contrast Plague Bearer Flesh. Not sure what we'll be doing next, maybe another Batman miniature, try out some different combinations. But thank you, I hope you're enjoying these Contrast videos. There will be more to come in the future, big projects, small projects, stuff in between if there's any particular colours you want to see used or models you'd be curious about the application of contrast paint on you can let me know I'll try and accommodate but obviously you know, I'm working with what's available so hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and ta for now